Saigon Sam here. It's October 26, 2011. Hey, listen, I promised I would update you uh, as soon as I found any evidence of tap water quality deterioration. Well, uh, here I have my AP2 digital uh, conductivity meter um, that I use periodically. Now, uh, as you can see, it's reading about 245, 250. Today is the, the first day I've observed in, uh, well, in the many weeks that I've been at this place that I've observed a breach of uh, 250 microsiemens, just, just shy of 250 now. Um, it's been running very consistently from about 205 to 230. And uh, suddenly today we see this spike. Now, is this a dangerous level of conductivity? No, not at all. But it does indicate that perhaps the uh, Metropolitan Waterworks uh, Authority is starting to be uh, overwhelmed with the inundation of floodwaters uh, carrying uh, heavy metal ions as well as uh, other pollutants. Now granted this is just a measure of conductivity. It doesn't tell me what ions are dissolved in the water. It just tells me something about the ion load. Um, but I would take this uh, as uh, quite possibly an initial, um, initial indicator of uh, deteriorating uh, tap water quality to come. It's possible that this is just a local effect from the, uh, from the particular uh, tank at the, at the condo where I'm living. Um, but uh, I can't imagine anything that they would have done to the tank to uh, suddenly increase the uh, conductivity like this. Uh, again, it's been very, very consistent throughout different hours of the day, different temperatures. Uh, I've never seen it ab above the low 230s. So uh, uh, I will continue to monitor it um, day by day, and if it goes back down to the normal range, then I guess we'll just trump it up to something localized. Um, but uh, I have a feeling this is more about the uh, metropolitan tap water supply than, than a, a local issue. Uh, anyway, as I have uh, useful things to say, I will continue to keep you informed. Take care.